friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a new series that I'm going to be offering on my channel. I am going to be doing a WW Friendly Instant Pot series. So each time I put out an Instant Pot video, it will have two recipes. They may be meals, they may be breakfast, desserts, it's going to be a variety. But every video is going to have two separate Instant Pot recipes that are WW Friendly. The Instant Pot is an amazing tool. It makes everything in one pot easy to clean. No dishes, no pots and pans, nothing. It makes it so incredibly easy and it cooks your food in no time and the meat comes out tender, juicy, and delicious. So if you haven't purchased an Instant Pot yet, this will give you good motivation to do so. The price has went down quite a bit since they first came out. My particular Instant Pot, I got on sale for about $60 and I have the large eight quart. I am going to link the two Instant Pots below in my Amazon store. The one that I have and the smaller one, just kind of depending on your family's needs and what they want to prepare for their meals. But this is a new series. You're going to be seeing it pretty often, about the same amount of time as you see the comfort food. I just wanted to give you some variety in your WW meals. And a lot of you have been asking me to do some Instant Pot recipes. So tonight I'm going to be showing you two dinner recipes, one that is moderate points and one that is extremely low points. And I am telling you, these two meals are some of the best that I've ever made, and they were done in an Instant Pot, which is crazy. So if you wanna see tonight's two dinner recipes, Instant Pot, WW Friendly, stay tuned. So for the first WW Friendly Instant Pot recipe, we are going to be making a Sunday pot roast. Super excited about this. If you have a family or a husband that is a meat eater and loves pot roast, this recipe is so easy and it is all made in your handy dandy instant pot. So let me show you everything that is in our Sunday pot roast. So first you're going to need some salt, some pepper, some Worcestershire sauce, beef broth, a three pound chuck roast. This is actually a 2.75 pound. I am going to trim all of the visible fat as well. You're going to need some potatoes, carrots, an onion, an onion soup mix, and of course the star of the show, your Instant Pot. So let's get started on making our Sunday pot roast. So you can see here that I've went ahead and I've actually cut up all of my carrots potatoes and onions and just thrown those in to a big bowl. I have trimmed the fat off of my roast and I have seasoned both sides with salt and pepper. So the next thing that we're going to be doing is whisking together some broth. So what I have here is two packets of the onion soup mix. To that, I'm going to be adding one and a half cups of beef broth. And then I'm also going to be adding in some Worcestershire sauce, and we're gonna whisk this all together until it creates a nice sauce. And we're gonna whisk, and then we're ready to start putting everything into our Instant Pot. So this recipe is quick to prepare, does have a little bit longer cook time, so make sure that you plan ahead for that. But you're just gonna whisk it all together. You've got your meat, you've got your veggies, and we're ready to get things moving. So the first thing that we need to do to get moving on our pot roast is we're going to go ahead and hit this saute button. We are going to let our Instant Pot get nice and hot. Once it is hot, we're going to go ahead and add in some Pam cooking spray, the olive oil. So we'll give it just a few minutes to get hot and then we'll add in some olive oil spray. Once your pot is nice and hot, I'm going to go ahead and add in a little bit of olive oil spray you'll see that it does kind of bubble up because it is hot. And then we're gonna go ahead and add in our meat. Listen to that sear, you guys. Listen to that. Okay, so we're gonna let our meat brown on each side for about three minutes. We'll flip it in about three minutes over to the other side. Once it's seared on the one side for one to two minutes, I left mine for about two and a half minutes. I went ahead and flipped it over to the other side. We're gonna allow it to sear an additional one to two minutes, and then we'll be adding in all of our vegetables. The great thing about an Instant Pot is 
You can do all of your cooking in one pot. There's no pulling out other dishes to sear and saute before adding to the Instant Pot. So it's a one man show and it is amazing. Next, we're gonna go ahead and add in our potatoes, carrots, and onions right over to the top of our meat. We are still on the saute function. We will be turning that off at some point here, but we are still on saute. That's why you hear that nice simmering in the background. And then to your veggies and meat, you're gonna go ahead and add the mix of the onion soup mix, the Worcestershire sauce, and the beef broth. Go ahead and let that cook for about one minute or so. Then you're gonna go ahead and pop on your lid. See how I have it marked at seal? Make sure that it is sealed and not expelling any of the pressure that it builds up. So your lid is on there nice and tight. And then you're gonna go back here down to your settings and we're gonna hit manual. Okay, so that'll light up. And we're gonna go ahead and up our time to 70 minutes. So like I said, the prep for this is really fast but it does require quite a bit of cooking time. So we're gonna go ahead and set this for 70 minutes and it will seal and we will let it cook and then it will, will allow it to naturally release for 10 minutes and then we'll manually release it by turning our dial up to the top there and we are good to go. So it'll turn on and in a flash, 70 minutes will be up and I will show you the next steps. Once your cook time is done, it will go ahead and naturally release. This dial right here is the number of minutes and the recipe calls for it to natural release for 10 minutes. So when this says 10, we'll go ahead and get it opened up and I'll show you the completed meal. Once your pressure cooker has 10 minutes of natural release, you can go up here to the top and turn your dial to release the rest of whatever in pressure is left. So it won't be very much once it's natural release for 10 minutes and then we'll open up and pull out our pot roast. I just popped the lid off of the pressure cooker. It took another couple minutes, sorry, we're steamy, for it to finish releasing with the valve. Down at the very bottom is my roast. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull out my roast. I'll put it here on my plate and I'll show you the completed roast and vegetables, but this looks super good. So here's the roast and potatoes and carrots and onions that I just pulled out of the Instant Pot. There's still quite a bit left in here, some more roast down at the bottom. So this is what we're gonna go ahead and do our dinner off of. So I'll plate this up and I will show you a serving size. So here is my plated up dinner. So I have some of the potatoes and then the pot roast. It literally falls apart, you can't even pick it up. So it came out absolutely delicious out of the Instant Pot. The recipe of a three pound roast makes 10 servings for a total of seven smart points. The recipe itself said eight servings, seven smart points, but my, by my calculations, it's actually 10 servings for seven smart points a piece. So this is my seven smart point dinner of pot roast, potatoes, carrots, and onions. So for tonight's Instant Pot Dinner, I'm going to be making goulash. This is a family friendly, a family loved recipe. You guys are going to be amazed by the smart points in this dish. So let me show you everything that is in the goulash and then I will show you how to put it all together. And again, it is going to be in our tried and true Instant Pot, all in one pot, easy peasy. So you're going to need some pasta of your choice. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Fiber Gourmet Light Rotini. I do have this linked down in my description box in my Amazon store. So make sure that you check out the Light Rotini, the Fiber Gourmet pastas. This is what they will look like in the ad. They are only three smart points per two ounce serving, which is half of what traditional pasta is. And I promise you, you won't be able to tell the difference. So I'm gonna be using the Rotini. For spices, we're going to need some salt, some minced onion, some Italian seasoning, black pepper, and the recipe does call for bay leaves. I do not have any, so I'm gonna be omitting those. You're going to need two bell peppers, whatever color you choose, some minced garlic, ground turkey. I'm gonna go ahead and do the 99% lean, so it is zero smart points. The recipe calls for either a 14 ounce canned tomato sauce or a marinara, so I'm going to be using the skinniest dish crock pot marinara, zero smart points. I will link this recipe down in the description box and I do have several videos where I show you how to make the marinara. You're also going to need some water and lastly, you're going to need some zucchini, 
and of course your Instant Pot. So let's get started on tonight's dinner of goulash. So the first thing that you need to do is chop up your vegetables. So you can see here that I've got my peppers ready, my zucchinis. I'm gonna get these all chopped up and set aside. And then the next step is, is to throw our turkey in on the saute setting. And I will show you exactly step-by-step step once I chop up my vegetables. Once you have your veggies all chopped up, we are ready to get everything going into our instant pot. So the first thing we're going to do is spray our pot with just a little bit of nonstick cooking spray that just helps keep it all from sticking, especially during the saute part of the process. And then in my pan, I'm going to be adding my one pound of 99% lean ground turkey. We're gonna go down to our dial here and we're gonna go ahead and turn on saute. Sorry about it being blurry. It wants to do it for about 30 minutes. So we're gonna say, okay, that sounds good. And it's going to heat up and then we will saute our ground turkey. Once your turkey is nice and brown, we need to add in our spices. I did try to film me adding in the spices, but it's so steamy, you couldn't see anything. So here is basically what I added. I added some ground black pepper just to my liking. I added about a tablespoon and a half of a minced onion, some Italian seasoning, some salt, and a good sized scoop of garlic. Now we're gonna go ahead and add in our vegetables. Once you've added your spices, go ahead and pop in your veggies. I've got a few more over here on a tray that didn't quite fit into my bowl, but go ahead and add in all your vegetables. Give that a nice stir. We're still on the saute function, so it's still on that cooking down function. Give those a quick stir. Then we're gonna go ahead and add in our pasta and our sauce. Once you've added all your vegetables, the next step is we're gonna go ahead and add in our pasta. And you're gonna add that just right to the top of your veggies. So that is eight ounces of the fiber gourmet pasta. We are also going to be adding about 14 ounces of water. We wanna make sure that we're adding about the same amount of water as we are adding tomato sauce. That way the pasta gets nice and cooked down. And then lastly, we're gonna add in our bowl of the skinniest dish crock pot marinara. And that substitutes for the tomato sauce in the recipe. Go ahead and give this a nice big stir. We're gonna then pull it off of the saute function and get it on to cooking mode. And look at that, it looks delicious. So I've added all of my sauce, veggies, water, spices. Now we're ready to pop our lid on. And we're gonna go down here and we're gonna go ahead and take it off of the saute function until it says off. And then we are gonna go ahead and go with the manual time so that we can adjust the time ourselves. So you wanna hit the manual button and you wanna knock that down to 10 minutes because that's the number of minutes that we wanna go ahead and let our meal cook. And then we are going to quick release. Yesterday or in our last Instant Pot meal, we did a natural release. You can do that or you can do a quick release. So I'm gonna show you how to do a quick release. And then my friends, we are good to go. So in 10 minutes, our goulash will be done. Once your Instant Pot beeps and tells you that it is done cooking, this is how you would set the natural release. But this particular recipe wants us to go ahead and vent it ourselves. So you can see here that it's on seal. So we're just going to simply move this switch over to vent and you can hear the steam coming out and it will release all of the pressure and then your little dial will come up letting you know that you can safely remove the lid and then I'll show you the completed goulash. I just popped the lid off of the Instant Pot after it released for about five minutes. This looks so delicious, perfectly done pasta. It's not too mushy. I'm gonna go ahead and plate up a serving. This batch makes six servings. I'm gonna show you a serving size. We're gonna top it with a little bit of cheese and I'm gonna give you the smart points. So here is a serving of the Instant Pot goulash. You can have a heaping cup, yes, heaping cup for only two smart points. Isn't that crazy? Because of the fiber gourmet pasta and the zero, 99% uh, zero point turkey, it makes it super, super low. So two smart points for a heaping cup. I added one ounce of the Trader Joe's light shredded mozzarella. So my dinner is three smart points total.
that's it. You could pair this with a vegetable, but remember you do have zucchini and bell peppers in the recipe, but this looks really delicious. And that is a lot of food for only three smart points. Thank you for joining me on the new series for WW Friendly Instant Pot Recipes. I hope that you enjoyed the two recipes that I shared with you. Again, I am going to link the six quart and eight quart Instant Pot down in the description box below. And this is a new series on my channel that you will be seeing on a regular basis. So if you don't have an Instant Pot, it's time to get one. And if you do, this should give you some additional recipes. So if you're new to my channel, I'd like to welcome you. Make sure that you subscribe hit the little bell icon, kind of right about there. That'll notify you every time that I upload a new video. Give this one a thumbs up, comment below. Let me know, do you have an Instant Pot? If you do, if you don't, do you want to get one? And what do you think of the new series of WW Friendly Instant Pot Recipes? And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.